Hi everyone, I am Arun Chulkar. Today in application of partial differentiation part 2, we will talk about complementary goods and competitive goods. If the joint demand function of two products x1 and x2 are x1 is a function of p1 and p2 and x2 is also a function of p1 and p2 where p1 and p2 are the prices of the product x1 and x2 then both product x1 and x2 are complementary if and only if del x1 upon del p2 and del x2 upon del p1 are both negative and both products x1 and x2 are competitive if and only if del x1 upon del p2 and del x2 upon del p1 are both positive and also remember that del x1 upon del p2 is partial marginal demand of x1 with respect to p2 and del x2 upon del p1 is partial marginal demand of x2 with respect to p1 example 1 the demand function of two products x1 and x2 are x1 equals to p1 raised to the power minus 1.4 into p2 raised to the power 0.6 and x2 equals to p1 raised to the power 0.5 into p2 raised to the power minus 1.2 respectively where x1 x2 are quantities demanded of x1 and x2 respectively and p1 and p2 are their respective prices discuss whether x1 and x2 are complementary or competitive products for this we calculate del x1 upon del p2 and del x2 upon del p1 so first demand function is x1 equals to p1 is to power minus 1.4 p2 is to power 0.6 first we differentiate respect to p2 treating p1 as a constant and we will get del x1 upon del p2 equals to 0.6 p1 is to power minus 1.4 into p2 is to power minus 0.4 now second demand function is p1 raised to power 0.5 into p2 raised to power minus 1.2. Differentiate respect to p1, treating p2 as a constant and we will get del x2 upon del p1 0.5 into p raised to power minus 0.5 into p2 raised to power minus 1.2. Since del x1 upon del p2 and del x2 upon del p1 are both positive, so x1 and x2 are competitive. Next we talk about partial elasticities of demand. The joint demand function of two products x1 and x2 are x1 is a function of p1 and p2 and x2 is also a function of p1 and p2 where p1 and p2 are the prices of product x1 and x2 respectively. First, the partial elasticity of demand for x1 with respect to p1 denoted by eta 1 1 which equals to p1 upon x1 multiplied by del x1 upon del p1. Next, the partial elasticity of demand for x with respect to p2 and it is denoted by eta 1 2 which equals to p2 upon x1 multiplied by del x1 upon del p2. Next, the partial elasticity of demand for x2 with respect to p1 which is denoted by eta 2 1 which equals to p1 upon x2 multiplied by del x2 upon del p1 and the last partial elasticity of demand for x2 with respect to p2 it is denoted by eta 2 2 which equals to p2 upon x2 multiplied by del x2 upon del p1 and always remember that if eta 1 2 and eta 2 1 are both positive then products are competitive and if eta 1 2 and eta 2 1 are both negative then products are complementary next example if joint demand function of two products x1 and x2 are x1 equals to p1 raised to the power a1 into e raised to the power b1 p2 plus c1 and x2 equals to 
P2 to the power minus A2 into E to the power B2 P1 plus C2, where A1, A2, B1, P2, C1, and C2 are constants. Then find eta 1 2 and eta 2 1 and discuss whether x1 and x2 are competitive or complementary products. First demand function is x1 equals to p1 is to the power minus a1 into e is to the power p1 p2 plus c2. Differentiate with respect to p2 treating p1 as a constant and we will get del x1 upon del p1 equals to p1 raised to the power minus a1 into e raised to the power b1 p2 plus c1 and the whole multiplied by b1 which equals to x1 b1 and eta 1 2 equals to p2 upon x1 multiplied by del x1 upon del p2. After putting the value of del x1 upon del p2 we will get eta 1 2 equals to p2 b1. Now second demand function is p2 raised to the power minus a2 into e raised to the power b2 p1 plus c2. Differentiate respect to p1 treating p2 as a constant and we will get del x2 upon del p1 p2 raised to the power minus a2 into e raised to the power b2 p1 plus c2 multiplied by b2 which equals to x2 b2 and now eta 2 1 equals to p1 upon x2 multiplied by del x2 upon del p1 and after putting the value of del x2 upon del p1 we will get p1 b2 sine of eta 1 2 and eta 2 1 are determined by sine of b1 and b2 if b1 and b2 are both positive then products are competitive or if b1 and b2 are both negative then products are complementary.